I'm Victor Vaz. Um, we're, I'm a team driver, obviously, with my wife. We drive open board in Canon only. And, and I'm Jocelyn Vaz, and what he said. <laughs> <laughs> I was driving a little bit before uh, me and Jocelyn first met. I was driving team here with my father, and uh, he wanted to slow down a little bit, so he went to work for a different company. And at around the same time, my wife here decided to. Uh, to get my license. Yeah, to get her license. Yeah. And, and yeah. so now we're here. Yeah. And uh, yeah, prior to driving truck, I was actually working at, at a law firm for a good seven years. And um, I decided to resign from that and uh, in favor of uh, greater compensation and more flexible work scheduling and that sort of thing. And obviously the opportunity to work with my husband um, and travel. I think I more than doubled my income. Uh, by by doing this, so yeah, it's definitely paid off. I'm very selective. I don't think I could just drive with somebody I met or something like that. Like my life's in their hands, so I'd have to be really sure. I think I have to be a, somebody I know, a friend or or my wife or my parent, or my father. You know, most people seem to be like good friends or relatives or family who get into a driving team. So and, and just two random people. How do you even sync your lives or when you want to be home or things like that? It's great because when we are home, it's like a vacation. Yeah, I drive midnight to noon roughly. She drives noon to midnight give or take an hour or two depending on how the day goes. I kind of started doing that with my dad back when we were on paper logs just for the simplicity of it. Ending your log at the t end of your page just made it easier than trying to figure out where you stopped at midnight and figuring that all out. But now that with e-logs that's actually made it easier to go past midnight if you want. You don't got to worry about the math that much. It does it all for you. This place is run professionally. Yeah. It's run yeah. like a business should be run. The people are important, the drivers are important, you know, just the, the way you do your terminals, the fitness centers, the lounges, everything's set up with the driver in mind, the maintenance, the fueling, the bunks aren't little small trucks, they're proper team trucks. Every little bit, it all adds up, like if I need supplies, you wouldn't believe it, but at most companies, you can't even get like simple grease and paper towels easily. It like makes it's, us it, feel like we're important yeah, and it, we're not second tier, sort of, you know, a lot of other companies you kind of feel as drivers that you're, you're nobody. frowned upon yeah. and that sort of thing and they don't really have an interest in taking care of you, whereas here it's... And we're the ones who, who make the buck, we're the ones who keep the company going, so when they treat you like, like you're a nobody or they don't respect you like that, or it's a horrible feeling. And here, ever since day one, it's been an amazing feeling. Yeah. We love it. Life really, the truck share is, is uh, you have make good money, you got lots of time to do what you wish. These can be either closed or open. You simply open the doors as per normal, 